All right, all right. Well, I wanted to run this by everybody. Um, I've been playing around with the uh, with the exhaust system on this thing. Well, I started it when back on a previous video when I was doing uh, my pros and cons and my first prints and all that stuff. And I discovered that the exhaust system is kind of limiting. Um, a lot of my prints are they're outdoor oriented products, right? So I use a lot of ASA. I wanted to uh, I want the extra UV protection and to keep everything from fading and uh, chemical resistance, all that good stuff. So ASA is perfect for a lot of stuff I do. So it's very important for me to get all of those odors and fumes out of the room, right? So, so I put together uh, this duct system and, and you see it back here behind the prints where I have these ducts that are connected to all of these printers here. And with the separate duct fan, it's you know sucking everything out and spitting it out the window, right? And it's been doing a great job with these P1Ss. Um, you know, I can walk in the room and I don't smell. You know, I don't have that odor. There's no fumes and stuff in here because, I mean, you 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 can't just you know fill the room with all these fumes and stay in the room. You're going to have a headache. You're going to get sick. I mean, it's not good for you. You got to get it out, right? But what I found out with uh, Bamboo Studio, basically, you know, you have a, a heating mode and a, and a cooling mode. And when you have uh, uh, the heating mode on, it shuts all of the exhaust control out. It just shuts it down, right? So if you take a look, you can see under the control here, um, there's an air condition and you can see back and forth cooling and heating. Now this is, but you can see when you're in heating mode, it just cuts the exhaust off, uh, right? And cooling, then you can manually set it. Um, and I'd also discovered, let's go back under the filament. Um, see, I have it loaded with ASA. And when you take a look under cooling, there is no, there's no option for turning on the exhaust. Now, if you take a look at, uh, well, that was the studio. If you look under uh, Orca Slicer here, let's do the same thing. There's ASA and I go under cooling. Well, there's exhaust fan. So I have control. Um, and I usually put it to like 10%, you know, while it's printing. And then when it's completed, it, you know, up to 50%. And the 10% the is just enough to keep, uh, to get the fumes out without uh, cooling everything down, right? Now, there is a guy out there. Uh, he replied to my first video and he showed me how to enable this, uh, you know, exhaust fan, uh, control and, uh, on studio and, uh, thanks dude. It was exactly like, uh, you know, exactly what I was looking for. Um, but let me show you how to do that. So if we go back, let's close this window here. If you go under the printer and go under basic information here under the printer settings, and there's the culprit here ex the, under accessories, so your air filtration enhancement. Click that. I don't know why it's, it's not default on, especially with this H2D, right? But we'll close that out. Now we go back under the filament settings. There's cooling and voila, there's the exhaust fan. So so I can set that to my standard settings that I use on the P1S. And uh, so now I have some exhaust fan control here, right? So I tried printing like that. I have the exhaust fan uh, at 10% while it's printing and 50% afterwards, right? Uh, just like I do with the P1Ss. But uh, apparently 
Bamboo Studio, it overrides you know, the, any kind of exhaust control whenever you have the heating element on. Um, now, I even set it down from 60 down to 40 C uh, for the filament, for the, you know, under the filament control. Uh, I set it down there for the, uh, for, the, for the chamber heater to be at 40, right? And, but apparently it overrides it because you can, you know, look in the rear here and uh, the slats do not open, right? So what I tried, I tried a little workaround here and I actually took some of the slats off of the exhaust, right? They, they come off really easy. They're, they're really pliable. Uh, they don't break. I mean, just be careful with them. But, uh, and I took about three of them off. I didn't want to take them all off. Um, because I'm not really trying to suck all the air out. I'm not trying to flush, you know, the, the, uh, the chamber out. I'm just wanting enough just to get the fumes out of there, right? Now the duct system, the, the, the duct fan that I have, um, it's not a big powerhouse. It's about a medium level. I forget how many CFM is on there. Um, but like I said, you know, I'm not trying to, uh, really flush these, these printers off, right? Uh, because even with the P1Ss, when I have at just 10% um, and the fan is going uh, and it's sucking all the, the fumes out, it's not enough of a, it's not enough CFM to, to, to transfer all the heat also. It gets the fumes out. Because even with the P1S, I get kind of, a, I measure it off and I'm getting, you know, 40 to 45 degrees C inside the chamber after, after everything heats up, cause you get the, the ambient temperature of 45 It's coming from, you know, the heated bed, the nozzle, everything in there. So, so I get some kind of level of heat, right? And they've been doing great with all my ASA stuff. Of course, they're, they're smaller stuff. They're not huge, but, uh, but it seems to work. So I tested it with, uh, with the three slats off and I put the duct system back on. Uh, keep in mind the, uh, the, the heating chamber is, is set at 40 degrees C. I didn't want to overload it. Uh, and, and it turned out great. I mean, all the way around, uh, before I had problems with, uh, with the first, with the first prints here. With my first prints, you can see I had real rough edges down here on the inside, on the corners there. And uh, let's see. Yeah, this one was coming out a little better, but I still had those rough edges on the back side. But now after, uh, and that was just tweaking it a little bit here and there, but the big change was, you know, like I said, when I, when I have the chamber heat setting just at 40 C and then, uh, I have the duct system in there and it's sucking out fumes and whatnot. Um, but it came out perfect front and back. When you compare the other stuff where everything was rough on the bottom, this one, it was rough on the backside corners there. Um, but this one came out perfect, just like uh, just like they do on the the P1Ss. So I was pretty pleased with that. And also, while it was printing, I was monitoring the the, the heated chamber, and I was actually getting even with it only set at forty, um, I was still getting an ambient temperature of fifty C, right? So so just from normal printing. Um, I don't see the need of, uh, of turning on the heater that high because, uh, unless I really needed 60 degree C, right? So it seems to be printing great with, uh, with his three slats removed, just enough to, to, to suck fumes out. Um, I'd only set the, 
the, the chamber for 40 degrees, but it went up to 50, you know, during the printing process, which was great. So I don't see the need of, uh, of upping the temperature unless I really needed 60 degrees, you know, up that high. Now I haven't tried ABS yet. Um, so I might see what, what that does, uh, because I, I'm not seeing any warpage or anything because these, of course, these are small parts too. But, uh, but the next thing I'm going to do is try to find uh, a larger print and see if it uh, keeps from warping at the settings that I have now. Um, so it works, but, you know, I have the duct system on there all the time. If you don't, uh, if it, I would really like more control over uh, the exhaust fan, right? I would still like to set it uh, and run it at 10% or 50% or whatever, just, just like I do with my P1Ss, right? So it's a workaround because I have a duct system. But without it, I, I see you'll probably have problems, you know, uh, with the exhaust. But that's my two cents worth. What do you think? I, it, have any of you guys uh, run into the same problems or do you have a workaround or, you know, especially with ASA or ABS? Um, or do you just vent out the, put a big fan in the window and suck the, the whole the whole room clean, right? Uh, I don't know. Well, let me let me know what you think, right? Yeah. So, let me know what you think. Maybe I'm missing something here, but uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna ride with it like this for a little while. Uh, but let me know what you think, right? Reply and let me know. But uh, I guess that's it for this video. So, as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and watch my next video.